so there was definitely some drama last night, and it was like my ex's best friend, excuse the puffy eyes, like, eh. It was like my ex's best friend found, like, some video that, like, vaguely alluded to something that, you know, had to do with her, whatever. Uh, because it was really about, like, something that was going on with a friend of hers, like, uh, that had messaged me that day, which was, and this was back on June 5th, um, but of course they didn't see it back then, they only saw it now, and of course she posted it on Facebook, and, um, all her friends got in on the fun, and blasted me with all of the, you know, uh, ableist jokes, all of the, uh, fat jokes, all of the, I mean, well, some of the fat jokes were on YouTube, I think. Uh, I think there was more ableist stuff probably on Facebook. It's just, it was a mess, really. But the thing is, a lot of, like, I think people think that drama is just, drama is just there to be drama. But, uh, I, I hate to say it because I really, really hate that this happened, but, um, I guess everything happens kind of for a reason, because I actually have made friends with a few of her friends, and a few of her friends have actually uh, been pretty nice to me, and uh, been saying, like pretty nice things to me, and that's pretty encouraging, especially in the sort of, like, it's really easy to just walk away in these situations. It's really easy to fall, uh, victim to the bystander effect. Um, but it's also really easy to just jump in and, you know, say, hey, I don't think that's right. It's like, so I can do something nice, and it's like, um, well, you know, they might not be being nice to you, but here, I can be nice to you. So, that's what some people have done, and it's like, uh, let's see. But you seem like a really sweet person, and I believe you can get through this. Just try and remember that dumb bitches who intentionally start shit on Facebook are not worth anyone's time. I mean, that's from one of her friends on Facebook. Uh, who contacted me. And that... I feel like... It gives me a different perspective on these sort of situations because, uh, I really, uh, I don't know. I mean, they suck. They suck. There's no way around it. Cyberbullying, of course it sucks. Of course it sucks to have your name dragged through the mud. Of course, it sucks to have someone say, you know, all the worst things about you. And I mean, like, uh, after all the fat jokes, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't even eaten today. It's like, and what time is it? It's like, uh, oh, it's 3.10. That's not even that late. Who even cares? People eat breakfast at 3.10. Whatever. But I mean... Um, but what I, this has done for me, <coughs> it's, 
is it's shown me that there are people out there who do care. Who are willing to uh, who are willing to, you know, do the right thing. Who are willing to say this is wrong and I know it's wrong and who are willing to step in and help someone up even if they don't know that person and um I believe that that is a really nice thing because the thing I read that's just from one person um I've had multiple people from her friends list who have approached me. So, um, I, I don't know. I mean, I apologize to her for one. And I hope that whatever problem she had with me, uh, that maybe I've made it right. And her friends, I don't know. I wish, I really truly wish that she would tell her friends or make a post uh, telling her friends to just knock it the fuck off. But um, I guess I just have to have thicker skin because... Uh, her friends just keep going at it, a lot of them. Uh, so, yeah. That is a thing that is happening. But also a thing that is happening is that my phone needs a new sticker. So I'm going to put a tiger on it. So... I'm going to go do that. I will see you probably, probably tomorrow. Because, I don't know, this week has been a hell of a week, huh?